Hi, this is Allison Hartso from Ambition Data. And today I want to give you a couple tips about how to present data so that you can get it heard and understood. And we've all been in those meetings where somebody whips out a spreadsheet and it's so boring, it's like your brain is trying to escape from your ear. And I hate to be an audience member in those scenarios, but we oftentimes find ourselves as analysts in this situation where we have really interesting nuggets of information, but the process of conveying it as a story sometimes eludes us. So I'm going to talk about the five elements of storytelling, and then I want to share a story uh, about a particular person who actually has the name of this effect. Um, it's called the Semmelweis effect, and it's what happens when you present information that people refuse to understand. So first, the elements of storytelling that I think any analyst can use are, one, set the scene. You have to help people feel or understand the problem. I like to do this by explaining a particular customer and their challenge or what it might be like for them coming through. Um, you know, Really paint the picture about who that person is and what they're trying to do. And then the second element is to present the unresolvable problem. You know, what is the crisis that can't be done? You know, They keep giving their credit card, but they can't check out. They keep contacting customer service, but the number doesn't go anywhere, whatever, whatever that unresolvable crisis is. And then explain the third step, uh, which is show how you've tried and failed different avenues. Now, we tried to change this uh, icon to make it more visible. We tried to do this. We made 16 recommendations. Nothing has happened. Um, whatever it is that creates that escalation of what you've tried and failed. It, is the key third element. And then the fourth element is the key discovery. Sometimes I pull this from other competing businesses or from academic literature. You know, it's been discovered that when uh, a particular payment system is offered, we can increase checkout rates by 50% or whatever that key element is or that key discovery. Or maybe it's something within your own, um, within your own data that you find. But that key revelation should be the overwhelming solution that people feel like, oh, this would really help us solve these customers' problems. And then the fifth element, the final one, is the resolution. This is that feeling of satisfaction that you can say, and we gave it a test flight on a certain internal area in a limited scenario, and here's what we found. You know, it looks like this would be a really good case to roll out across our sites, or it looks like this would be a an amazing thing to try for the customer service team. So all five elements are needed to convey a very compelling story. That's setting the scene, the unresolvable crisis, the escalation where you try and fail a number of times, the key discovery that you think will make all the difference, and then the resolution which shows how you've changed or resolved this problem for the better. Now, let me tell you the story of Semmelweis, which is the effect that um, that this particular scenario is named after. And it's called the Semmelweis effect because this doctor made an amazing discovery and he presented it numerous times in varying ways to his colleagues, but his colleagues refused to listen. They refused to believe him. You know, could storytelling the proper way have made a difference in this scenario rather than somebody just straight up logically beating people over the head with numbers? Perhaps. And it had a very dire consequence because Semmelweis wasn't just a doctor. He was a doctor in the maternity ward, and he happened to notice that women who gave birth to, um, to babies had bad consequences, and many of them died when their physicians had visited the morgue prior to delivering their babies. And what the physicians were doing, unknowns to them, is they were bringing the germs from, from visiting the morgue, from, from visiting dead people, 
right to the newborns and their mothers. And this was before people knew about germs and they didn't believe that there was something invisible there. And Semmelweis spent his life trying to convince people that these invisible elements were there. And can you imagine how crazy he must have sounded? But what would it have looked like? How would our scenario be different? How many lives would be saved if he had used the elements of story to present his data in a way that people were more receptive to hearing? to helping them live vicariously through these young mothers, through these broken families that must have suffered terribly. That emotion is what you need in data storytelling, and it's how to get your message across.